A few days ago, Microsoft open-sourced Phi 3 Mini, currently the most powerful lightweight large language model so far. It has low resource requirements, providing strong inference capabilities even in GPU and CPU-constrained environments. It's touted as an intelligent assistant that can fit in a smartphone for easy portability. You might be aware that in Comfy UI, we can integrate large language models to expand and optimize prompt words. However, the previous local large models were resource-intensive and competed for GPU with stable diffusion, forcing users to rely on online cloud AIs like DAL and Gemini, which are now starting to charge fees or will do so soon. If the locally run Phi 3 Mini can provide decent functionality without hogging resources, that would be fantastic. Our old friend Zozozo has always been at the forefront, developing a custom node that enables everyone to use Phi 3 Mini in Comfy UI. Let's give it a try. The custom node is called Comfy UI Phi 3 Mini. On its GitHub page, you can find some demos. But let's skip that for now and focus on how to install it. The environment requires transformers equals 4.40.0 since Phi 3 Mini is based on the 4.40.0 version of transformers. You can check the library version in your Comfy UI environment with the following command. If it's not up to date, install version 4.40.0 with this command. Then install the custom node. As Comfy UI Manager doesn't support it yet, you can download and unzip the archive or use git clone. Once done, install the dependencies in the custom node directory with the following command. After everything is set up, restart Comfy UI. Zo has provided two workflows, one for chatting and one for generating images. Let's start with the chat workflow. The model loader at the top is a model loader that automatically downloads the model from Hugging Face on the first run, totaling 4.97 GB plus 2.67 GB of files. The node at the bottom left is the chat box. The top part is the prompt, which is the specific content you want to send to Phi. The bottom part is the system command, defining how it should answer based on your content. This is the recommended chat format by Phi. The content in the workflow is very simple right now, just using Phi as a useful AI assistant to solve a chicken and rabbit problem and answer in Chinese. The answer is already in the result box. Slightly modified the data, replacing the animals and number of legs with 20 and 58, respectively. Clicking Run. This is a classic math problem often used to exercise logical thinking and algebraic problem-solving skills. Let's wait for the AI to solve the problem. The answer is out. There are 11 chickens and 9 rabbits, which I'll verify. It's correct, and there are no issues with the solution process. Let's try another problem. Clicking Run. The result came out quickly, but the answer is completely wrong. Upon closer inspection, the solution process is completely fabricated, turning a logical problem into a detective case. However, that's not the focus. We are professional Comfy UI users, so let's see how it performs in image generation. Import another workflow, which is essentially a text to image generation. Don't be intimidated by these rare nodes. The model used here is COSL recently introduced by Stable Diffusion. Therefore, it needs to be connected to a model sampling continuous EDM. If you're using a regular Excel model, the generated image might be full of noise. The Phi Mini 4K node in the middle is the key of this workflow. Its bottom box defines the requirements for Phi, i.e., to understand and expand the input prompt in the top box, but ensuring it's less than 200 tokens. The temperature at the bottom is a commonly used hyperparameter in large models, controlling the randomness and creativity of the generated text. The higher the value, the more random and creative the result, but at the cost of some coherence and accuracy. You can generally use 0.5 or leave it at 0. The output of this node is Phi's response, which is used as a positive prompt for KSamper and displayed in display text. Let's run it without making any changes. It's going to generate six large images, which might take a while, so I'll speed it up. The results are out, and they look pretty good, giving off a commercial vibe. This workflow is a bit complex. If we don't need COSL and just want a simple text-to-image generation, how should we proceed? First, load a default workflow and choose a checkpoint you like. 
I'm using my usual one here. But if you choose SD 1.5, that's fine too. Change the image size to the default 1024 by 1024 for XL. Reduce the iteration steps to 30. Lower the CFG to 7. And use the DPMPP underscore 2M underscore SDE sampling method with Keras. Now, let's integrate Phi. Double click the screen to search for the Phi 3 Mini 4K node. Keep the content in the bottom box as is, or you can modify it according to your needs. There are many online tutorials on how to write large language model prompts. Add another Phi 3 Mini 4K model loader node on the left and connect the ports between these two nodes. Change the text in the positive prompt box to input and connect it to Phi. Remember to add a show text node. Otherwise, we won't know if there's an error in Phi's prompt. With the workflow set up, let's write a few simple words like dog and garden. Click generate. And Phi will expand the prompts based on our input. Here are the results it provided, showing optimized prompts which is more complex than mine. Wait a bit longer, and we'll get the corresponding results. The generated images look very good, with a happy dog lying comfortably in a colorful garden, bathed in warm sunlight. I'm pleased with Phi 3 Mini's performance and feel that it can replace my commonly used large language models. I'll evaluate again when Microsoft releases the subsequent Phi 3 Small and Phi 3 Medium versions, and if they perform well, I'll share them with everyone. Well, that concludes today's video. See you next time.